Hello everybody and welcome to What's Beth Doing? Well tonight, it's a rainy afternoon in Georgia and we're gonna make apple dumplings. If you've never had an apple dumpling, then you better watch this video because they're the best thing you ever put in your mouth. Stay tuned, we're gonna get going, so hit that subscribe button, ring that bell so you get notifications, and let's get cracking. Okay, so what we're gonna need to make these apple dumplings, we're gonna need an eight by eight baking casserole dish, a little saucepan. You're gonna need all of your ingredients, which is one apple, a can of crescent rolls, a stick of butter. We'll need one cup of sugar divided and then another fourth of a cup and cinnamon and a cup of water. And I will have this recipe be posted. So this is what you need to get going. So let's start making our apple dumplings. First thing we're going to do, we're going to open up our crescent roll. You can buy the expensive ones, you can buy the cheap ones. They either way works just as good. Crack them puppies open. There we go. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to unroll one side first. So we'll get two of them off. I'm going to work one at a time. All right, stretch them out just a little bit. Don't make them all holy, but you know, get them a little bit stretched out. So what I've done is I took the one apple, I peeled it and chopped it up into fine little pieces of apple. Yeah, quarter inch by quarter inch, just little pieces. We're going to take our quarter cup of sugar and we're going to add a teaspoon of cinnamon to that. All right, so what goes in each little dumpling doesn't take much. You think, well, that's not a lot of apple, but that's all it takes. I'm going to get a regular spoon out. You're going to take a little teaspoon of, of cinnamon sugar. This is the way I roll mine. I'll take the long part, fold it over, take the end in, take the other end in, and then tuck that little piece under. Makes like a little diaper. How about that one? That's appetizing, isn't it? But I found that's just the easiest way to roll them. So you put a little apple, a little cinnamon sugar, fold that part over, and get that out of our way. Fold that part over, fold that part over, and then tuck that under. And in the pot it goes. I did grease my baking sheet, baking pan. Just helps so stuff don't stick. All right. Fold that over, 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 and tuck that under. I'll show you how to do it the other way, but it just is not as easy as what I'm doing here. I don't think. Doesn't affect the taste any. You know, if you go and you try to roll that up, it all slides out. So I've just found that this way is just the easiest way. Ooh, that one ended up kind of messy. Tuck it all in there. All right, let's get the rest of them out. You could buy, you know, crescent comes in a big sheet now. You could buy one of those and divide it up and cut it. You might could actually get a few more out of it. I don't know. I've never never tried that. Fold that over, over, over. Tuck that under. In there. 
There we go. We're almost done. Two more. Last one. All right. Now you probably have a little apple left over. Because like I said, you just can't fit a lot in. And I'll have cinnamon sugar left over. And that's okay because what I do is I'll add it to the rest of the other stuff. Fold that over. And there we go. Got that part done. Now we'll go to step two. Okay, so next we're going to stick our cup of water in our small saucepan, our stick of butter. I went ahead and I cut it all up just to make it go faster. We're going to get this melted up and get our sugar in there. And we're going to get this all melted, mix it up, and we're going to let it boil till it thickens up just a little bit, about three or four minutes, and then it'll be ready to pour over our apples. Okay, so now we have our butter, water, sugar mixture all melted up and it boiled for about three or four minutes. And in my directions it says, you know, put the butter in there and let it melt and then add the sugar and the water. It really doesn't matter. Just add it all at one time. It works just the same. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pour this over the apples. Yeah, that seems like a lot of water. But this is what makes them good. Because while this is baking, that all thickens up really good and makes a wonderful sauce. That's what makes it so good. I'm going to take the extra cinnamon sugar that I had left over and put it over the top. And oh, if you're a diabetic, you won't want to eat these. <laughs> Might send you into a coma. I don't know. There's a lot of sugar in this, so not diabetic friendly. Ah, now it's all ready to go in the oven. It's going to go in the oven at 350 degrees for about 25-30 minutes so they get a nice golden brown and the sauce is all nice and thickened. So we're going to stick it in the oven and we'll let you see when we get done. Okay, they're out of the oven and the juice is thickened up nicely. They look great. We're going to let them cool off because they're too hot to eat and we'll come back and try us some. All right, looks all nice and cooled off. We're gonna get us one out here. Get some sauce. And there you go. Apple dumplings, tender, nice thick juice. And like I said, best thing you ever put in your mouth. Mmm, that's so good. Delicious. So try some tonight. I've never made it, a lot of the recipes that you might see call for soda, like 7-Up or something. I've never made it that way. So I will post my recipe with this. Um, and it is delicious. Y'all try it. And see you next time. Well, folks, thanks for joining me today at What's Beth Doing? We had a great time. And don't forget to check out our sponsors, Sutton Mill Creek Syrup Company. They make a line of hickory syrup, sweet and smoky. Go great on your breakfast foods, pancakes, waffle, sausage, or make a good meat and salmon glaze. There's recipes on the website, so go to www.suttonmillcreek.com and check them out. And don't forget to subscribe.